I didn't think my camera was going to come on that fast. <laughs> Good evening, everyone. You caught me taking a sip of my coffee. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to my channel. If you're brand new to my channel, wow, what a way to start a video, huh, Clue? If you're brand new to my channel, my name is Elizabeth. My channel name is Shy Town Girl. And my favorite sidekick, Miss Kalua Lou, is finally here to visit with us. She has been just the weather so many things have been going on every time i've been filming that she hasn't been around so she's propped up against me here to hang out with us to do this dollar tree haul she has a baby um what's left of this from auntie linda um it still squeaks <laughs> and that's clue's favorite part <laughs> all right i am here it's thursday and i have a dollar tree haul to share with all of you I hope you're all doing well. It was warm here today in the Hudson Valley, but not as warm as it's been the past couple of days. Um, so it was kind of an adventurous day for me. I went on a total, it was like a five hour trip. And I went to <laughs> all the nearest like Marshalls and Home Goods that I could find within like a 50 mile radius of where I live. And no Ray done, none. I'm like, oh my God, what is the deal here? In New York, why can we not get any Ray Dunn? What, what's the deal here? Talk to me. All right, so Dollar Tree haul. I did manage to um, visit Dollar Tree. Um, that wasn't my total plan. It, well, it kind of was, but I was looking for Ray Dunn um, holiday items. But I have Dollar Trees. I have some items that were on my wish list to share with you. So I'm just going to jump right in. Okay, now I did come across some new hard candy. Oh my gosh, right? Um, nothing too crazy crazy, but I did grab four of them. Um, and these are a different color from the other style packaging that looks exactly like this. This is number 1321, and it says it's Demi Matte Cream Lip Color. That's all it gives me. It's cashmere silk. It's by Hard Candy. And it says it right here on the package as well, right there. Um, I haven't tried it, but I'm not so sure. It's kind of dark. It appears that way anyways, but it might be a little bit lighter. Um, I just haven't opened one up yet and checked because I literally got home maybe an hour ago, if that. Okay, other new makeup items that I found, uh, since I've got like a whole wad right here in front of me, but this is gonna be kind of random as well, so bear with me. I found some Jessie's Girl, and this is the first time I've ever seen this brand at Dollar Tree, period. And it was funny because as soon as I saw this, I was like, Jessie's Girl, I started singing, um, he wished that he was Jesse's girl. Dun, 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 dun. Okay. Um, wouldn't you like? All right, never mind. Um, anyways, it says waterproof liquid eyeliner, super fine application. The color is an olive green. So here's a shot of the front of the package and the back. And I have to say, that's pretty cool packaging. I'm impressed with that. I like the way it looks. It's sleek. It's got a cool design to it. They also had one other one. And can you guess why it caught my eye? Purple. This is also by Jessie's Girl. I didn't give you a ounce, did I? Because I was too busy trying to sing. These are 0 0.34 ounces each. So the green ones as well. This color is called violet liquid eyeliner super fine application uh, we have to check this purple one out real quick here wow this is like really anyone seen jesse's girl before i don't think i've ever even seen jesse's girl makeup um because i pretty much stay with the brands that i know best and what i've been using for years all right, so I just took one of the purple ones out. Let me get it out of the packaging. <clears throat> Excuse me. So here's what it looks like. And there's the applicator. Ooh. 
Oh yeah. Can you see that? I think you can. That is really, really nice. Okay, I just had to get a little bit more out. X marks the spot. I think that's really pretty. So I'm anxious to give this a try to see how this works. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm having a, I don't know, my glands are all swollen down here. I'm not so sure what's going on here. I did come across, oh, these are so hard to find and I've, this is only the second time that I have found them and these are, and I still don't know if it's Eli's or Ellie's. I'm gonna say Eli. I think it's Eli's. You get 10 and they're a 7.05 ounce package of these mini croissants. OMG. Put a couple of these in the toaster oven with a little bit of, you know, after you take them out, a little bit of butter, just a little bit, and some jam. Cup of tea. Whoa! These are so good. Um, I Is this the one that I didn't see an expiration date on? No, I lied. Sell by September of 2020. So I think I got plenty of time. Um, it didn't give me a physical date. It just says September. So I don't know. They'll be gone way before September. I'm not even going to worry about that. Okay, I did pick up a couple more bags of these because believe it or not, I really enjoy Fritos. But because of my blood pressure and my issues with that and my kidney problems, I have to really limit my sodium and my salt. So when I want to get as close as I can, I have to just like rub some of the salt off. And Fritos are just out of this crazy world expensive. All of a sudden, what happened to a buck and a half for a bag of Cheetos or Fritos? Not anymore. I started buying these. I just bought a bag off whim and said, you know what? Let me try them and see if they taste like Fritos. If I put these in a bowl with Fritos, you would not be able to tell the difference. And I mean, I can honestly say that when I have been a Frito eater for as long as I can remember. Anyways, these are the Home Style Select 8.5 ounce package. And these are good until November 10th of 2020. They really are good. And because they're the bigger ones, you can get your dips in there, your salsa, whatever it is that you would like. Actually, I found quite a bit of snack items that I don't normally find. So I was pretty excited about that. These are Ritz, brand name, crisp thins, and these are cream cheese and onion. 50% less fat because they're oven baked. So I was excited to see these. We don't get a lot of this out by me because most of the stores that I go to don't have snack zones. So I'm finding that the stores that do have snack zones have a lot more snacks, just like the stores that have the crafting department or the baking department. I would love to be able to go to a store. I would travel 200 miles to go to a Dollar Tree that has a baking department. I've never seen one. Um, I'd love to find out. So if any of you out there watching live in a state that have a Dollar Tree that has a baking department where you can get all your baking kinds of accessories, please let me know. I would love to know where you're at because I would love to visit the store. Not necessarily you. I don't mean that in a rude way, just meaning like I'm not inviting myself over to your house to say, yo, I'm here, what are we having for dinner? I didn't mean it like that. Anyways, these were brand new to me, so I grabbed them. <clears throat> also something that was new, this is Better Made Special since 1930. Potato sticks. I have to admit, when I was a kid, by the way, this is a 3.5 ounce package and these are sour cream and onion flavored. Normally you just get the regular potato chip flavored. Another item that's kind of salty for me, but I just brush a little bit off. As soon as I saw these, what went off in my brain is I remember my nephews and I, because mind you, I was a niece. Yes, I was a niece when I was three months old. Figure that math out. Um, so basically, I've been around kids my whole life. I have so many nieces and nephews, great, 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 all the way through four grades. Um, where was I going with that? Oh yeah, so I hung around a lot of kids growing up, family kids as well as friends. We used to pretend those were cigarettes when we were little. 
You know, some people did the crayons. Some people did potato sticks. I don't know. I Don't mind me. It's been one of those days. Mind you, I've been driving around for five hours. Emerald, brand name. Who doesn't like cashews? Oh, roasted cashews. Um, this package is a 1.25 ounce. Emerald is a brand name. These are good until April 27th of 2021. Always a little something sticking in the glove box. You get stuck in your car. Stick it in your purse. You're hungry all of a sudden. This is better than a candy bar. You know, it's just something easy to pop in your backpack, pop in your purse, pocketbook, whatever you choose to call it. I'm from Chicago. We call it a purse. New Yorkers call it a pocketbook. I don't know if there's any other names for purses than purse and pocketbook. Well, my dad used to call my bag a feeder bag because I've always had big bags. Bless his heart. He always used to say, well, go get your feeder bag. I was like, Dad, it's a purse. It's a tote bag. I miss him so much. All right. Let's skip over to some new candies. Double bubble. I'm telling you, Double Bubble is blasting out the new flavors big time. This one is Double Bubble Cotton Candy. Four ounce package. Flavors are lemon, cherry, and blue raspberry. Oh, do I need to say more besides a whoop whoop to Chicago. Another great flavor. If you saw my haul from the other day, I found a package. Why is this kind of slimy? Sorry. Not... It smells like soap. That's weird. I didn't get no soap. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Squirrel. Anyways, double bubble. Love it. I love my bubble gum. I love to chew bubble gum. I love it to blow bubbles. Always have a good time with bubble gum. Swedish fish. This is so funny in so many different levels. It's not even funny. Last night, I was literally having a conversation with someone about Crush Pop. <coughs> we were talking about back in the days when I was smaller, what was my favorite pop that I used to drink at the drag strips? And I said it had to be Grape Crush. My second was strawberry. My third was orange. And then I see these packages of Swedish Fish, which I do enjoy. These are mini ones. And the flavors are grape, orange, strawberry, and pineapple. This is good until July 2021. I can't wait to show this to the person I was talking to last night. And just I'm just going to, you know, toss it on the table at her and go, do you remember what we were talking about last night? And see if she gets it. I don't mean to be rude, but I do need to take a sip of my coffee this gland here causes me to get my throat real dry. I've had Van Tassel. Alrighty. I have had, unfortunately, bad tonsils my whole life. I should have had them removed when I was a youngster. Any free EM, um, ear, nose, and throat doctor that has seen me goes, man, those things got to go. But now it's dangerous to have that stuff done. So I tend to just deal with it. I've dealt with it this long. I'm going to deal with it for the rest of it. Ocean Spray. Brand name. I'm always foaming at the mouth about their Ocean Spray drinks. I saw Anna from Only In My Dreams haul the Crayon Tropical and the Crayon Pineapple. And I have been searching for it. Today paid off. These were both on my wish list. I was so excited to find them because this one especially oh, tastes so good with vodka. I mean, I'm just saying, if you want a nice little mixed drink, oh my God, so good, right? Um, And so is this one too, by the way. No, these are really, really good. I enjoy them. Like if I'm on the road, I'm doing a road trip, or if I'm just like out and about, I like to have this in the car just in case I get stuck, just in case I'm thirsty, whatever. These have been so hard to come by in these flavors. I grabbed five of each. So I definitely stocked up. Expiration date of these are January 25th of 2021. They'll be gone way ahead of that, but I had almost given up on those flavors. I'm like, man, she's in Maryland. I'm right here in New York. We're not all that far apart. Why can't I find these? It was driving me nuts. So I'm so glad I finally did. 
All right, something to scratch off the wish list, but then I'm just going to watch someone else's haul and add 10 more things right back on. That's how we roll. All right, I found some new candles, and unfortunately, this box is a little bit smushed, and it's my bad because I was not going to pay for their crappy bag, and I forgot to bring mine in. So, this is a three-ounce candle. It is a soy wax candle, and it's called Sun Drenched Beach comes in a package that's me I did that so my bad I'm sorry I squished it but this is what it looks like interested but <sighs> I'm interested <laughs> oh my god I'm interested to see what this smells like and the throw it's gonna give when I smell it I get now mind you because I'm kind of off here but to me it's almost like a pineapple kind of smell to me anyways the next one which i thought was really cute this one is called boardwalk driftwood and there's the package that it comes in this is also a soy candle all four i'm going to show you is a soy and you can definitely smell um the driftwood in that one the next one i found is called coral surf it's a blue candle. There it is on the inside. Here's the packaging. I love where they have these, um, oh my gosh. Yeah. Come on, someone's gotta yell louder. I can't hear you. Um, um, jellyfish, yes, I just heard you. Okay, you don't have to yell at me that loud. I heard you. Um, this is Coral Surf, a beachy smell but I smell like a hint of like a lavender or something underneath. So I'm anxious to see what that smells like. Last but not least, Mermaid Sands. And look at that big turtle. I have seen a couple of these turtles live in the ocean and oh my God, it's amazing. It's amazing. So this one to me has like a rose petal smell and you all know what that smells like. So there's what the top of that one looks like. Me and my candles, oi! Okay, um, probably nobody really gives a hoot about this, but I'm gonna show it anyways because you know what? Um, there's a difference. Reynolds wrap. I don't know about all of you, I get yelled at, not yelled at, but I get harped on, not harped on, I get bitched and moaned at when I use aluminum foil. I don't know, maybe it's an Italian thing. I don't know, in my family, when we were wrapping up leftovers, we use aluminum foil. Am I wrong? You have something on a plate, you put aluminum foil on it. Some people do saran wrap, I do aluminum foil. I've been doing it for 50 plus years. Anyways, Reynolds wrap, you're only getting 18. I mean, 18 square feet in total. Okay, and that's with a bonus pack. But if you go with the Dollar Tree one, you're getting 40 square feet. I know what the first thing that most of you are gonna say is this one's not as good as this one. Well, I would have to say yes and no. The one thing that freaks people out about this aluminum foil is it's a pain in the ass to tear it. Because for some reason, the part that they glue on that has the rivets, not the rivets, the teeth, the razor part to cut it off are on wrong. Most of the ones I get are upside down. So if you want, just flip your thing around and try it the other way and tear down instead of tearing up. That'll solve your problem. But I'm just saying that when you can get 40 versus 18 for a dollar, just doing the math, just doing the math. Okay, oh, I actually, I had another one of those eyeliners. Um, face mask, I thought I found, yep, here it is, <clears throat> new face mask. This one is by Miss Spa, age defying, firm in tone. Man, I need one of these for my boobs and my butt. Um, results in 20 minutes, yeah, okay, I want to believe that. It's 0 0.88 ounces, it is a pre-treated facial sheet mask with, with what? I can't even pronounce that word. I'm not even gonna try. Never mind. It's a sheet face mask. There is it. It looked like angelic at first. 
I'm having a bad day. Is it just maybe because my eyes are so bad and the way it's written in cursive? Anyways, this was brand new, so I picked me up one of them as well. Man, this Dollar Tree haul is horrible. I apologize. All right. I showed about a week or so ago in a different Dollar Tree haul that I had found some of the Quaker Simply Granola Oats. I found some more. And these are in a completely different flavor. So these are 2.64 ounce packages. This one is oats, honey, raisins, and almonds. 2.64 ounces, again, I mean, Quaker Oats, which is a brand name, again, in your purse, in your glove box, in your backpack, this is something you can just eat on the go, put it in your yogurt, use it for cereal, put milk in it, all different ways that you can use this, add this for additional things if you're making muffins, and you decide you wanna add a little something to your muffins. So I did pick up two packages. The other ones were absolutely wonderful. The flavor was fantastic. This is also something new I've never purchased before. These are the Hungry Jack Original Hash Brown Potatoes. I love hash browns. Usually I try to make my own fresh ones, but every now and then I'm, if I'm in a pinch, so these say ready in just minutes. You just add water. It's a 3.2 ounce serving. Serves, um, it says family size, serves five. I don't know about five people. That seems like, I mean, I guess if it's spread out, you know, probably. But it's basically saying hot tap water and then just oil. That's it. That's all you need is water and oil and put it in your skillet. So I grabbed two of those because I'd never seen them before. Also, as far as food, oh yeah, I needed just another salt and pepper shaker. So I picked me up one of them. Just one of those things, you know, you need at your house. How many of these did I grab? I don't know. For some reason, I have another one. I don't know what I did. I was like driving around so much today. Uh, craft department. Let me see what I have in crafts. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. These are so cute. Um, being a new grandma, still not able to see. I won't even go there. Okay. Um, I open frequently down the baby section and these were so cute. It's table scatter for babies. Oh, it's so adorable. Look at that. You get over 110 pieces in here. And if you guys who have been watching my channel for a while, you know that I use these for all kinds of things. You could use one of these on the top of a cupcake if you wanna do a faux cupcake. Imitation, fake, whatever, whatever. It's called, it's fake. I'm sorry, but it is fake. Anyways, there's blue and silver, and then pink and silver all. Oh. You know, bowl fillers can get to be very expensive if you go to the party stores, because what's at the party store? Party stuff. Yes, you get a bigger selection of party stuff, but oy vet, I'm telling you, you're gonna pay a lot of money because it's a specialty store. So when you get things like this, so many different ideas come to my mind for a baby shower. Alrighty, this is a set of Sticko letters. And I'm working on a project for Halloween. So I'm hoping that these letters are gonna work for me. I don't know, I've never purchased these before and I've never seen this brand before, Sticko. I've never seen it at any of my Dollar Trees before. So that also caught me and my attention. Um, interested to see, it says 218 pieces. So we'll check it out and see what happens with that. Oh, I had, uh, I'll, I'll say the munchies, but I, I was hungry. I still haven't eaten yet today. Um, and I have not seen one of these in forever. This is made by Stork, who makes Werther's. It's toffee. You get four in a package. I don't know what it was, but back in the 80s, these were so damn popular. They were like everywhere. When I saw it, I was like, what? oh my gosh, that's so for me. Believe it or not, you know, because I was born in the 60s, this is nostalgic for me. This is a nostalgic piece of candy. Anyways, you get four pieces. It's the full size. 
It's um, basically, for those of you that don't know it, it's a hazelnut that's in a caramel cream with chocolate. They're good. They definitely are. And again, you get four pieces in a package. So I, that was kind of cool to find. Oh, I found some new flavored gum by Canals. Oh, 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 look at this. All right, the flavors. I got myself two packages. These, by the way, each one of these little packages is individually wrapped and you get four pieces of gum in each one. So these are all separately wrapped just in case you don't know or didn't know. Here's your flavors. Banana, cherry, grape, and apple. Oh, yum, yum. So convenient, so cute. Take a couple out, toss them in your purse. They're not rattling all over because they're individually wrapped. Just convenient. Okay, I did find, oh, let me show you these. Okay, guess Kalua decided not to come back. Well, Lottie down on her. All right, LA Colors. These are, I love this name, it's so cute. It's called Baby Pop Nail Polish. And I guess because they're little baby ones. All right, so you get two bottles of polish. The bottles of polish are 0 0.18 ounce each. Um, they're not that small, actually. Let me just give them a quick. The bottles themselves are two inches. So two inches. You get a red one, and then this one is clear with like a glitter. Yep, you can see it. There's the glitter. So you get two of them cute little stocking stuffer I'm just saying great color combo you could wear one together alone separate however you want to roll the next one here also by LA colors oh did I tell you the color <sighs> fabulous it's fabulous that is the color for that one this next one is cheerful and it's also by LA colors and it's baby bop and it's got this mint chocolate chip ice cream, but tone it down just a little bit. And that's the perfect color. And then up here, as you can see, let me go back to the first one I showed you. The first one has more of a clear, where this one has a lot more silver and darker glitter going on. So there's two that I found, and I found one other one, and I was so excited to find this one. This one, and what a pretty name. This one is called Blessed, and it is in purples. I'm not sure if it's coming across that way on the screen, but there are the three that I found. Now, if you notice, the first one is like a clear and white glitter, then it went to like a silver glitter, and then this one has more of a pinkish type of glitter. So each one comes with something completely different. Again, it's just something, you know, pop it into your friend's pocketbook or handbook or whatever you want to call it. Okay, I did find, where are we at with time here? Okay, I did find some more new washi tape. Now, I basically bought a couple doubles because um, I know many of you have a really hard time finding washi tape. And um, I've heard you, and I'm gonna be sending out some washi tape to a few of you. These are the ones that I found and got kind of piggy with. Bear with me one moment here. All right, this first one, actually, I'm gonna take them out of the package because I think that's just better for you to see. These are all made by Crafter Square. So this first one is all different kinds. Well, that zebra looks like he's blown that out of his butt. Maybe that's not a good example. Anyways, you got little zebras and hearts. Super duper cute. The next one, I did show you this once before. Um, and I had gone back to that store and they were totally wiped out. This one, it, it's just too cute. It's the rubber duckies. So I got one of those. I'm not sure if I'm going to do it in a friend mail or if I'm going to do some kind of maybe um, washi giveaway or something. I don't know. I got something in the works. Um, boo -doo -doo -doo. This one here. By the way, these are all the same size. 
These are all by Crafter Square. This next one is a bunch of different hearts, but it's very pretty because they're pastel type colors and you could pretty much, you know, use them at any time of the year. And last but not least, and I was a pig on this one because I got four of them because I thought this one is just so pretty. I think there's a majority of people that would like this one. And I think this is my favorite out of them all. This one has, let me make sure I have it the right way. Oh, all kinds of flowers and butterflies. And I love the fact that it has this really pretty lilac background. Isn't that just beautiful? So yeah, I did get a couple. Um, they're all the same. I just think they're so, so pretty. I think that was it for washi tape. Yes. Okay, um, I showed you guys that. I did pick up two packages of the six count of the string lights. This is what they look like on the outside. These are gonna be operated, I believe, by the batteries. I have to open it up and check it out. So if anyone wants to know what these look like lit up, hit me up in the box below and ask me to light them up. And, huh, I'll light them up all right. I did purchase two of them, so I'm anxious to see what those look like. They're like a really pretty soft shimmery. There's a lot, you know, really pink. So I'm anxious once, you know, it's lit up, is it still gonna look pink or is it gonna be like whitish looking? I don't know, we'll see. I did find some new, that's what I smell. Ah, ah, mystery solved. It's one of my hand sanitizers is leaking. Well, what the hell, where is the cap? How do, I would never, ever, ever buy anything without a cap. It had a cap when I got it. All right, bear with me one moment here. This is live, so, well, it's not live, but keeping it real. How do I show you all this now? Because this is the only one of this design I grabbed. All right, you know what? I'm just gonna flip it over and hold it with my finger. All right. It's a taco! <laughs> it's pink. And there is a hand sanitizer in there, but somehow my um, sweet pea scented one fluid ounce lost its, I don't know what happened, the bottom. But remember when I first started this video, I felt something and I said it smelled kind of soapy. That's what it was, the hand sanitizer. So the one that has a taco on, it smells soapy. It's really not, I just, it felt soapy. I just didn't know what it was. So let me, bear with me, just let me set that to the side. Oi. Yeah, I didn't buy that like that. That's for sure. Okay, there's a couple other designs I did find. <sighs> okay. See, now I could edit all that out, but I, you know, I make mistakes. I'm human. The next one is in this blue color, and it's, is it say queen? Queen. This one is... tropical berry scented these have the notches on them so you can make them bigger or smaller the loops and also <clears throat> excuse me you do get the sanitizer in there just if you were wondering because sometimes you'll see them at dollar tree and they don't have the sanitizer the next one i found here is pineapple paradise and it's got a unicorn kitty oh it's so cute and then there's your hand sanitizer. And last but not least, and my favorite, not just because it's like, it's more of like a lilac color. Um, it's probably gonna see more pink on screen, but it's more lilac, but look at the cupcake. I thought this was so cute. Of course I got two cupcakes. This is my favorite out of the whole set. So I had to get two of those. And last but not least, let me see. Okay. I have like hand sanitizer. Man, I am just, I'm all sanitized from head to toe. Okay. 
At least I found out where that came from, but now I don't know where else it leaked all over. My bad. I'm squirreling on you guys. All right. I have a couple of new notebooks I found, and that's going to be the rest of my Dollar Tree. Okay. So these are, oh, don't tell me that these don't come off. Oh, yeah. The stickers come off the back. Woo! They're spiral bound. They are lined, and how many sheets? You get 60 sheets in a package. Here we go. I found four different ones. The first one, very busy. Now, what's cool about this is that's one side, and then here, well, they didn't pop the rest of it out. So if you see this, it's just that they didn't pop it out, but that's how it makes that that. Isn't that cool? So measurement on this, I'm gonna say three by five, four by six, four by six. So there was this one that said very busy. This one here that says, yay, really, really cute. This one here that says, my ideas. And does this one need to be popped out? Nope, that one's popped out, okay. My ideas. And last but not least, my favorite, of course, because it's purple. It says, love. Aren't those just adorable? So let's go through them again. I didn't see any other designs. I'm not saying there wasn't any. These were all that I found, but I thought they were definitely, you know, I like the fact that they're not real big and they just fit nice in your hand. Um, love them, love them to death. And the colors are beautiful. Alrighty, that's it. I completed a Dollar Tree haul. <laughs> all right, everybody, I apologize for all the fumbles, but I'm keeping it real and I'm gonna leave it just like it is. I hope you enjoyed this Dollar Tree haul that I shared with all of you. Now I got a fuzzy in my nose. Oh my God, I'm just a mess. <gasps> I'm a mess. Until next time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for all the new subscribers. We're very close to the 8,000 subscriber giveaway. If you're not familiar with it, go check it out on my community page and you can see you might be the winner of that big set of hard candy makeup. Until next time, everyone. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful evening. Bye for now.